if I want to find the may value of a and b to make f of x continuous, what I first have to do is I have to set the first and second graphs or pieces of the piecewise equal so they intersect. So I got to make sure that x plus 2 equals ax minus b when x equals negative 2 because x equals negative 2 is where they meet. I'm going to have to check for this. I will also have to check that the middle one equals the last one because ax minus b has to equal the 5 when x equals 3 because they meet at 3. So these two meet at 3, these two meet at negative 2, so you have to set the equations equal so they connect at those x values. So for this particular one, I'm going to plug negative 2 in for x, so I end up with negative 2 plus 2 equals a times negative 2 minus b. For this one, I plug in 3, I get a times 3 minus b equals 5. And I'm going to solve this, so what this becomes 0 equals negative 2a minus b. This one becomes 3a minus b equals 5. Here are my two equations. Now I'm kind of stuck. Okay, now I have two equations. How do I find a and b? Well, it's called a systems of equations. There are multiple ways to do this. You could do elimination or you can do uh, substitution. I think I'm going to do elimination. I'm going to take this function and write it underneath this one. I'm going to take this function. I'm going to multiply it by a negative 1. The 0 is going to go underneath here because 0 times negative 1 is 0. That becomes a positive b. And this is the opposite. will become positive 2a. So I multiply by negative 1, and I wrote it right here. Now I'm going to add straight down. When I do that, those cancel. I get 5a equals 5 and a equals 1. There's part of my answer. How do you find b? Well, you just choose one of these two equations and plug 1 in. Let's do the second one because b is positive. So I'm going to take it and plug it in right here for a. So we have 2 times a, which is 1, plus b equals 0. So it looks like 2 plus b equals 0, so b equals negative 2. When a is 1 and b is negative 2 for this equation, these all these graphs, this whole graph will be continuous. So the, the function right here technically will be 1x plus 2. This will be an x plus 2 equation right here in the middle. x plus 2 will make all of these continuous, which actually is the same graph as the top one. Kind of interesting.